Hi guys and welcome to another episode of On The Bank Angling. Um, I'm back at Marchamley Pools. Um, quite excited because I'm actually fishing the catfish, uh, the big carp and catfish pool, the top pool at Marchamley today. Um, just come out, it's about, well I got here about 4 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Add, add a burger and chips as you do from the van, um, always very nice as well. And uh, yeah, I've just knocked up a bait mix and put a couple rods out for catfish. Um, I haven't timed it amazingly well because the weather's gone a bit colder in the last couple of days, so it might be hit or miss, but we'll give it a go. Um, we'll see what we can do. But the good news is a couple of catfish did come out last night, um, so you never know your luck. There's a good chance, you know, if I do catch one, it'll be a personal best because my PB at the moment is only about £22. So, and the ones that have been coming out have been 30 pounders, so yeah, let's be hopeful. Um, I'll, as always, I'll keep you updated throughout the session and uh, I'll show you some little little bits and bobs that I'm using. Not that I'm an expert at all at, at fishing for catfish, I'm just it's just some of the stuff that I've picked up while I've been learning, as we all do. So, let's see how the session goes. Cheers. Right, so here's my swim for the session. Um, I'm going to be here for about 24 hours. Uh, and this is the area I've chosen. It was on the end of the wind, but the wind has slightly changed. So um, it's got a wind sort of hacking across me now. Um, and this is the end furthest from the car park at Marchamley. Um, it's an area that I've, I've had a little bit of a plum round in and I've got about four or five foot but there is apparently um, a little hole or a deep trough out there sort of midway out between from my rods to the island and that hole there tends to hold a few catfish um, some fish have already been out of there this year someone fishing here has caught a couple out of there so that's sort of an area I have managed to find an area where it's about two or three foot deeper so I assume that's the area everyone's talking about. So I've got a rod in there, one rod just off it. I did find a little bit of depth in the just around the corner as well. Um, but unfortunately, someone started at, um, setting up and fishing there now, so I haven't put a rod in there. Um, but yeah, so I've got a nice bit of water to myself. I've also put a bit of bait down in that corner down there, where you can see the reeds. It's going to be more of a cart rod, I think, that one. I think the best chance for a catfish will be on these two out here. And, uh, yeah, let's let's hope one of these screams off in the night. I might not be able to show you it, because my camera doesn't um, record amazingly well in the night, but I can show you the results uh, in pictures. Yeah. It's just evening's drawing in now, and uh, it's going to be a cold one, I think, so... Let's hope you get a nice battle from a catfish to keep me warmed up. Right, so now let's have a look uh, at the bait I'm going to be using on the session. Um, I've got a wide variety of baits with me, all sort of fishy baits. Um, that's, you know, the catfish is a predator, so I want to be attracting them with, you know, fish, fishy flavoured baits. So I've got my ground bait mix here, and as you can see in there, I've got this brightly coloured red colour, blood red and in there I've got a mixture of pellets, fish meal boilies, bits of luncheon meat, all sorts in there to give it a nice meaty smell and uh, I've put a lot of the um, predator attractor liquid that I've used for perch in the past and it's had a lot of success on when I've mixed it with prawns so um, that's this liquid here, you can pick that up from any tackle shop um, absolutely ideal for predators, you put it on dead baits for pike um, like I said, over perch baits, ideal. And um, that ground bait mix is quite damp, so I haven't been using it in, P in my PVA bags. What I've got in my PVA bags is just a drier version of the mix, still with a lot of that liquid in to give it a lot of flavour and smell. So that's the sort of drawing bait. So as hook baits, what I've got is good old fashioned luncheon meat. This one's open, but it's stuck in the tin as what always happens there we go good old-fashioned luncheon meat big cube of that on the hair absolutely ideal um, I've got some 
halibut pellets but also in here I've got some boilies and what I've done this has been going for about half a year now as you can see they are they're soaking in a, a tractor liquid that one's actually green lip mussel and oh my god it stinks but you never know that, that might be the edge hopefully um catfish that would have soaked into the bait by now and hopefully a catfish comes across that later and can't resist it got a couple of them out on my right hand rod um, what else i've got just to increase the attraction of the hook baits there's some marine halibut paste just mold a bit around your boilies absolutely ideal i use a lot of this on the river barbel fishing and uh, it definitely brings you in more bites um, so again that fishy smell will be good for the catfish and lastly a bait that i've got wherever i can find any art is the worms and uh, they're not the biggest worms i've actually dug these out of the compost um, at the place i'm staying so i'll try and find some for you there we go so i've got some worms a big bunch of them on a hook just popped up off the bottom absolutely deadly catfish bait on some places I've fished so um, ideally I would have wanted bigger worms but I had to make do with what I could get so there we go that's the sort of bait that I'm going to be putting into the swim what I'm doing really is um, putting balls of that ground bait out the stinky fish meal ground bait out this stuff here and then I'm fishing little PVA bags um, of the drier stuff over the top just with whatever my hook bait is and like I've got a few hook baits to change to so hopefully that's enough to uh, catch one of these catfish. Right then, it's about 20 minutes before dark. It is absolutely freezing now. The wind's died off, but it's so cold. And it, you know, I'm rapidly losing confidence for tonight. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make sure I'm doors down and I'm wrapped up away in my sleeping bag. To be honest, um, you never know. A cat, you know, there may be a chance for a cat. I think I'll probably put in a little bit too much bait. Put in about 20 balls of ground bait out there. Um, that stinky mix that I made up so might be a bit too much but who knows um, the wind's just dying off the lake's nice and quiet there's a guy opposite fishing I'm not sure if he's fishing for carp or cats but he's put a load of boilies out off the end of the island so there's plenty of bait out there and uh, yeah we'll just sort of, sort of see how it goes probably be the last time you hear from me this today um, I'll probably show you the results of the night in the morning um, like I said at the moment it feels pretty cold and uh, it means I'm not too optimistic I have actually caught a couple of fish stuck a float rod out for a while just down the side on a bit of worm just to sort of see if anything was going to go for the worms out there that I need to worry about and I had you know I had a couple of roach so I'm not sure the worm hook baits will be brilliant um, I'm going to have to keep checking them got some PVA bags all tied up ready um, it's good to be prepared you know especially on these cold nights you don't really want to be tying up bags you know at one o'clock in the morning if you've caught a fish so it's always good to have some stuff ready for the night so it's just all easy all ready to go your mats your slings your camera all ready so you don't need to be messing about you know any longer than you need to so there we go I've got some ducks investigating my rods at the moment there we go, I'll catch up with you in the morning, hopefully it's going to be a good night, but it's going to be a cold one. Cheers. Cool. Well good morning guys. Um, 
No catfish to report, unfortunately. It got very, very cold last night. Um, a bit weird, really, because I've got up this morning. And uh, it's like being in a different country. It's gone red hot, still. Absolutely bang on conditions for for carp fishing um, at the moment. I mean, I'm sure they'll be up on the top somewhere, so I'm going to go and give that a go. Um, my chance for a catfish is gone, really. They're largely a nocturnal species, and uh, if I wasn't going to get one last night, I wasn't going to get one at all. But like I said, it did get um, very cold. Um, it was it was down to freezing at one point. I did have a couple of fish through the night. Um, my right hand rod picked up a couple of bream. It's not really what you want at two o'clock in the morning when you're fr freezing cold anyway, having to get out and land a bream. But um, at least at least it showed the rigs worked. Um, so yeah, there we go. I have to come back for the catfish another time, but. To be honest, seeing how cold it got, I'm not surprised those rods didn't go off last night. I don't know if anyone else caught any, I'll find out soon, but I'm going to go looking for some carp on the top, so hopefully I'll have a decent fish to show you some point in the video. And uh, there we go, but well, I've just got to get everything packed down now, but at least it will dry out quickly with this sun. So there we go, I'll give you another update soon. <laughs> Saw a couple of fish swirling near the island. So I flicked a little PVA bag mix. Same mix I was using at the top, I had some left. So I flicked a little PVA bag tight up against the island. I was getting liners straight from the off, so I knew there was a good chance I was going to catch a fish. And there we go, it's um, screamed off with this little marching lead called Common. Not a massive fish, probably only about seven or eight pounds, but nice to uh, catch a fish anyway. I haven't got long left in the session, so um, hopefully catch a couple more as well. But um, I did manage to only get the one out of it last time, that 23 pound common. Um, so hopefully catch a few more. There we go. Get some more bags tied up, flick them against that island again. Brilliant stuff. Right, so here's the spot I've just had that cart from. Um, wind's picked up now. Not ideal for surface fishing anymore, so. Basically what I did is flicked a little PVA bag just out of the corner of those um, branches that are hanging off the island there, just off there. Straight away was getting liners. Within about 10 minutes had that nice uh, common on the bank, probably between 8 and 10 pound. Um, just flicked out there again actually. Within 5 minutes I've had a bream, so there's obviously plenty of fish out there just off that corner. Only got a few hours left in the session and um, I'm just going to see if I can get another carp or anything else that comes along. Probably going to switch to uh, two bottom baits now and uh, really go for it. So there we go. A few guys on the other side. One guy's had down in the corner there, he's had a 21 pounder. So yeah, there we go. Always. Uh, Proving to be a good venue here at March and we're always catching something here at least. Right, well there we go then guys, all packed up, end of the session, um, finished with one carp and three bream, so uh, didn't blank but uh, not the catfish that I wanted, all the big carp. Um, the conditions are all over the place to be honest, so I'm not surprised. Um, 
I'll be back again next weekend. Hopefully I can do a bit better then. Um, so I'll see you again in another video. If you like the video, please subscribe and like. Um, if you didn't like it, comment on what you think we could do better. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again in another video. Cheers. Welcome to another episode of uh, On The Bank Angling. Um, back at Marchingley Pools and uh, I'm out on the carp and catfish lake. Hopefully to try and catch cats but first fish of the session ripped off with this little common um, and just a basic tiger nut rig. I've been fishing for the carp in the daytime, cats at night. I had a go last night without any success so that's the first fish of the session so I thought I'd update you and uh, I'll keep you updated throughout show you a few of the rigs and stuff I'm using a bit different from what I usually do so I'll show you some of the stuff I'm using there we go nice little fish to start us off hopefully catch a few more great stuff right so here's the swim I'm fishing at March and me today as I said before um, I was I'm on the uh, carp and catfish pool which is a top pool here at Marchamley. Um, when I turned up last night the place was pretty busy being Saturday night and uh, I had to make doing a swim just around the corner from that far island there just around the corner around the back of there in the channel around the back and uh, yeah I wasn't too confident um, and that proved so you know I didn't, I didn't have anything in there it's getting to evening now and I've moved into a swim which a bloke pulled off of at lunchtime, and uh, like I said, I've had that that little common, which was a good start. I've seen a couple fish roll, but more importantly, I wanted to get to know a bit more about the venue, and I've I've had a plumb round and uh, got some depths and some features sorted, you know, to try and target these catfish because uh, I think the last few trips have been really unsuccessful, obviously, but. Um, you know, I think I feel like I should have caught them, so I'm just hopefully tonight's the night. I'm going to keep person. I've only got one rod out at the moment um, for the carp. I'm going to sort the other rod out as well in a minute. I'm just going to keep persevering with the carp until dark. I've got a couple of spots planned now for nightfall, and uh, yeah, I'll put some bait in and see how it goes. Um, when I pull the carp rod in, I'll just show you the rig that I caught the fish on, and uh, yeah. Here we go, another another night session, let's see how it goes. pounds absolutely belting fish they're so awkward to handle but I'll try and get them up for you as best I can there you go absolutely fantastic stuff March and Lee's been really kind to me so far um, at 23 pound carp in the, in the other video and now this absolutely beast 27 pound cat and they go twice as big in here I can't imagine what playing one of them must be like because this one put up an absolute epic struggle. And, uh, I'm getting wet, I'm getting cold, it's pissing down with rain. I'm the only one on the lake, but I couldn't care less to be honest. This one's getting me covered in slime, but that's exactly what I came for. I'm popped up worms, a big bunch of worms. I was worried that they were getting taken by smaller fish because a few bleats and stuff, but then this one just absolutely ripped. And look at the mouth, look at the mouth on that big set of whiskers fantastic looking fish I mean people think they're ugly but I think they're pretty amazing to be honest look at the huge whiskers on there and uh, 
They're about one of the only fish that really behave on the bank as well. Look, he's kicked off, did all his fighting in the water. And uh, yeah, I'm absolutely, absolutely made up with that. Um, I'll talk through the rig and stuff when it gets a bit lighter. Uh, but for now, great stuff, great fishing. And uh, the catfish target for the year. PB beaten, PB a 22 pound, beaten by 5 pound, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can do anything else, but it's, it's light now and they're largely a nocturnal species, so we'll see, but uh, I won't be disappointed if we don't catch them all. Oh, what a fish. Slipper back. Well, good morning guys, um, uh, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning now, nothing else has happened since I've had that cat, um, not too surprised to be honest, the weather, it's, it's really, it feels really cold at the moment, whether it's because I got absolutely soaking wet, I mean I've been sat in the car eating breakfast and trying to dry off, so uh, whether it's because I got uh, wet that I'm feeling cold, but the temperature seems to have dropped a little bit, and uh, like I said, they're largely a nocturnal species catfish and uh, I think uh, that would have been the only real opportunity I was going to get. So, But I'm not disappointed, well happy to have caught one. Um, my ticket actually runs for quite a bit longer so I'm, I don't really want to pack up in this rain. I may well start um, fishing for the carp in a minute. I mean I haven't seen any carp showing and the wind has been blowing right down the other end of the lake. I don't know if you can see through my door here. Um, down through that that gap up there, the wind's been blowing. So, to be honest, I would expect the carp to be at the other end of the lake, but you never know. I've got a few boilies with me, and uh, I can flick a few chods out and just you know just see if there are any carp about. Um, there's been plenty of small fish rolling, but um, that's about it. I haven't seen a carp down this end. So uh, yeah, so I'll keep plugging away. Um, glad to finally have caught one. That's four sessions it took to catch one. I've had a carp every session. So uh, yeah, hopefully can get amongst the carp as well. Um, be a nice way to end, end the video. Alright, so cheers guys. Catch up with you in a bit. Right, so I've pulled the catfish rigs in for the day. So I just thought I'd take this opportunity to show you what I've been using for the catfish here at Marchamley. Um, they're both braid rigs, it's the armor cord braid from Corda, very strong abrasion resistant braid. Um, you need that because uh, of the abrasion on the, um, on the pads of the catfish. Um, it's, more, it's like a sort of sandpaper and it can quite easily wear through um, lighter braids or, or mono etc. Um, so it's very important to make sure you're using a nice heavy, heavy braided material, preferably a, like an armor coated one and uh, that'll mean that you don't lose any fish. Um, all my catfish rigs are fish running uh, with a big heavy lead to minimize the resistance. Um, with all predators uh, they can pick up baits and if they feel resistance they quite often drop them. I've learned that a lot through, through fishing for big perch and stuff. Um, so I do the same with the catfish, just a nice um, running rig. And uh, these are the two rigs I've been using. So this one here just incorporates a hair rigged single poly ball. And that one will just hold your rig up off the bottom like that. Um, and that was the one I've been fishing the worms on. I've got a little bit of, pla um, well it's actually a, a float rubber on there. And that's just to make sure that the worms stay on the hook. Um, quite so yeah, very important that um, to make sure the worms stay on there. And that will just pop up off the bottom. Um, the worms will be dangling below and the catfish, you know, they come along and they sense the vibrations and, the, and they nail it, hopefully. Um, it's fine, tangle proof, um, and it's a good little rig. Um, I haven't had any issues with it so far, so uh, I'll probably keep using that one. 
this rig down here is a sort of dumbbell poly ball, poly ball rig and it does the same thing it's just um, good at keeping separation between your, your hook length and your actual hook so if you're using a fish or something it can't swim round your hook length and tangle so um, that's that one there and again I've got a little rubber maggot on there that's just to make sure that the bait stays on whatever bait I'm choosing to use so they're not difficult rigs not difficult to tie up um, and you'll get success with catfish if you dry these on a water where there's a fairly good stock of cats so there's a uh, brief insight into the two rigs that I've, I've been using for the catfish here I've also been using some bottom bait rigs but standard hair rigs with the halibut pellets etc and uh, haven't really had any success on those but I don't think they're feeding heavily at the moment the catfish so that's why I'm going for more attraction than feed um, I mean I'm very much a novice at fishing for catfish so if you have any um, if you want to share any rigs or think if there's anything I could do better obviously feel free to comment below because I'd be quite happy to um, to look at it and obviously to take it take your advice on board because anything really to help me get a few fish on them a few more fish on the bank would be good so uh, yeah feel free well I said I was gonna flick out two chop rigs and try for the car and about an hour after doing so the rains come back stopped and come back in again and it's uh, ripped off of this little uh, scrap nearly as, the, nearly as much as a scrap as the catfish but there we go nice looking nice looking fish good start over a little spread of boilies i'm just waiting for the rain to clear and then i'm going to go Packing up, then uh, 
I'll show you it, but if not, um, I hope you like the video. It will probably end up being like a mixture of my last few sessions on here. It's taken me four sessions, I think, to catch a catfish. Um, and I've caught plenty of carp in between, but um, the catfish have proved to be a bit loose apart from that, that one I lost on the last session. So, um, so yeah, I'm just uh, a few bleeps there, it's probably because of the wind, but yeah. So, there we go. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want to be a part of it and make any videos, obviously just let us know, chuck us an email. And uh, there we go. So I hope to see you again in another video soon. Cheers.